Every session I follow this so I know I hit the most important parts of playing. Donna here from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com. So in my previous video, I gave you tips for the best ways to practice your saxophone. In this video, I want to give you three quick tips that are the best way to improve your saxophone playing, or honestly, any instrument. Tip number one. The best way you can improve your saxophone playing is to follow a routine or a system. Every session I follow this so I know I hit the most important parts of my playing. So what I do, I make sure I hit upon tone, technique, and music in every session. Tone, most important area because you want to sound good. And it can get really frustrating really quickly when you're having tone problems or read problems or leaks in the pads. In fact, it could stop you from doing anything else because you're obsessing about your tone. The second area is technique. The more things you know how to play, well, the more ideas you have for improvising. Makes sense, right? Now, most people spend a majority of their practice time on technique, but try not to fall into the trap of skipping the other areas, though, especially the next one, which is music. So many people forget to actually play songs when they practice. Think about why you took up the instrument in the first place. It wasn't to play chords and scales only, right? Now, if you want to get more ideas on getting the most out of your practice, along with practice planners and other ways to optimize your practicing to get the maximum results, check out my Practice Smarter course. The link's going to be in the description below. Tip number two. Don't play the same exercises all the time or play them the same way all the time. Here's a story I want to share. One of my students would play a scales like this. Now the reason why was because he was practicing his scales by rote and just thinking of working out his fingers. And he practiced his scales the same way in the same order every single time. That's like going to the gym and doing the same workout for years and years and years. You're bound to get overuse injuries over time. So really simple, just change up one thing in each area. So for tone, do a different overtone exercise. You get plenty of ideas from the Sigurd Rascher Top Tones book. For technique, don't play your scales with the same articula articulation or the same range. It changes the sound of it, right? The next tip has helped me get motivated to practice when I felt, you know, stuck in a rut. So tip number three, play songs from a different genre. I was just talking with one of my saxophone students and in their area, country music is huge. Now they're used to playing blues and rock, so checking out some country songs and saxophone players like Boots Randolph, Don Wise, and others would be really helpful. That'll give you some new ideas for sure. So quick recap. The best way you can improve your saxophone playing is to follow a routine or a system. I like to work on the three areas of tone, technique, and music. Tip two, don't play the same exercises all the time or play them the same way all the time. And tip three, play songs from a different genre. That's gonna spark your creativity, give you some extra inspiration and motivation to practice. Hey, I hope this video helped you. And if you like these tips, like the video, follow and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.